Hello and welcome to Let's Play Destroy All Humans with me, Mr. Muck Luckable. In the last episode, we went around Rockwell, we holler bobbed the mayor, we spoke to the townspeople, we reassured them, and then we blew them up in a side mission. Pretty normal for an evil alien. And in today's episode, we're going to head to a completely new place. Like I said, we don't stick in uh, in Rockwell for long, because now we're going to go to... Santa Modesta, which was mentioned previously, and the mission. Oh, I'm probably. Hopefully, hopefully, Pox isn't saying something because I'm probably going to talk over him. Um, and the mission is Alien Pool Party. Let's go. Crypto, sunny Santa Modesta. First up, I want you to find the alpha male of this town. Perhaps we can gain an insight into the way this whacked human social hierarchy functions. Crypto, the first thing you should do is take a human disguise. In this mission, it's vital you remain completely incognito. If your true form is seen by anyone, the mission will fail. You want a piece of me? Scan any humans you find. Oh. They might be able to tell you where you the mayor is located. Every year. Oh, that's not fair. I was being attacked while I was listening to Pox. Don't be so mean to me, game. I better kill these guys, or I don't want to set off a, an alert. We're supposed to be in disguise, although I don't think this police... I don't think I'm fooling anyone with this policeman here. Right, fine. You will just have to die, won't you? Hopefully these two don't cause any commotion to make other people come along. Don't you call for backup. That'd be too smart of a thing to do. Okay, so here we are. We're in sunny Santa Modesta, like Pox said. And actually there's a... Oh, no. Don't do that. Go away. Oh, no. I think I've got away with it. Okay. Oh, I can't even get that probe now. You can't get... Nope, I have not got away with it. You can't get probes in disguise, which does suck. When you're hollow bobbing them. Um, this is not going great. I'll say that. Okay, there we go. Actually, let's just get that first. Give me that. You can actually hollow bob corpses, which is nice. <laughs> not very, not a very moral thing to do, but oh well. Okay, so let's do some. Let's have a look at what the mission goals are again. Find the mayor with no police alert. Okay, fair enough. This place is nice. You got a thought bubble. Let's scan you. That rotten mayor. We gave five hundred dollars to that campaign, and still no invitation to the pool party at the motel. Maybe I should sell those photos to the tabloids after all. Ooh. I mean, this mayor is just like Mayor Quimby. It's exactly the same character. Um, let's just get some more concentration. Mm. So he's at a pool party, is he? Well, the the name of the mission did suggest that. But yeah, as you can see. I, last episode I said that that uh, town of Rockwell reminded me of Back to the Future. I should have said this town. This town reminds me even more because it is. It is a very much suburban little little place. Nice and sunny. Obviously the name is a, a take on Santa Monica in California. Matt Marilyn, a playwright California. and a baseball I think it's around it's here like actually. Traveled to a future where TV was in color and, they made and oh and uh, uh, Rockwell Santa is Modesta. can't guess by now to be supposed to be Roswell. In progress. Perhaps you can discover what's going on by scanning them. Yeah, and Roswell being the the famous UFO landing report sites and all that kind of stuff. But yeah. So there's the mayor. Let's just quickly scan some people because our thing's going to run out. What are these people doing? Show mm, this must be some crazy new wave of dancing coming along. I don't like this. Mm. Oh, there's... Is that the mayor? I don't know who that is. I like the music, though. Boy, do I love my new Edsel. Right, let's do this. You know Hello. Would really make this perfect? You'd think as much power as I've got in this town, I could ban these stupid pool parties. <sighs> At least we've outlawed the chicken dance. This oh, chicken mayor dance. is pathetic. So is this pool party. It's time to trash the place. 
<laughs> About time. This is a pretty crappy pool party. Look, I mean, there is a little bit of a barbecue here, but... I like the mayor more than the other one, though. He's got a little moustache. However, enough moustache looking at. We've got to destroy things, which means we can finally get out of our disguise and just kill everyone. This is more like it. I don't like your dancing. Please stop. The mayor's going for a swim. Now he's going to go for a bit of a drown. Oh, there you go. They've all run away. They're all stuck in the water. Ah. They can dance, but they can't swim. That's a shame. Come here. Come here. There you go. Good work, Crypto. Unfortunately, you seem to have awakened the local constabulary. Be on your guard. You'll need a new weapon to handle the Santa Modesta police force. So I'm unlocking your Destructo Ray. Try it out now on the fuzz. Ooh. Disintegrator Ray. It's about time. Press the R2 button to cycle to the Disintegrator Ray. Press the R1 button to fire the Disintegrator Ray. Press and hold the R1 button to fire a burst. It requires ammo. Pox always drops ammo into the invasion site. Try looking to the rooftops and other out of the way places. Cool, let's have a look. Reduce the Santa Modesta police force to half the strength. Oh, another probe? Hello. There we go. Do they, do they do the skeleton form? They sure do. I do love that. I really do love that. The effect of the disintegrator ray. I love to destroy humans too as well. All right, so here's loads of ammo. I think the best thing to do for this is to destroy the cars. That seems to get rid of quite a big percentage. Yeah, more than killing the individual cops anyway. So let's just have a little fly around. Wait for some cars to come. Here we go. They're quite weak at the moment, so it's alright. Grab some more ammo. So yeah, we did see the ammo last episode. I thought it would only spawn in once we got this gun in this mission, but obviously not. That was a bit of a waste of ammo there, because I... Gives you 25, and I think I had more than 75. Oh well. That's actually not a difficult this bit, as long as you don't get kind of caught in a corner by people. Are you there? Don't punch me. There you go. Oh. Not real now, we're on. Oh dear, yeah. And also, don't get too close to the explosions. <laughs> Another good tip there. 73%. This shouldn't be. Yeah, it's fine. So, as you can see. Santa Modesta. I do like this place more. It's nice and bright, rather than crappy Rockwell or Roswell, whatever you want to call it, really. Um, nice bit of lens flare there. There we go. We're well, practically done now. 52%. One more car, I'd say. Where's a car? Round there. Come here, you. Thank you very much, you're dead. Mission complete. Lovely. Motel Party Madness. Santa Modesta youths caught in violent jazz music hysteria. Uh, Mayor caught... ...in blackmail photographs. Oh, so the lady did. The lady did indeed sell the photographs to the paper. Good for her. Good for her. Dirty, dirty mare man. Okay, so we have 2,100 DNA, which is enough to do the next mission. But we don't want to skedaddle straight back off to the UFO just yet. Let's have a little look around here. Is that a... There's a probe up there on top of that sign. I should probably get out of the way of all these soldiers, come to think of it. Don't think I, can... I don't think I can get this. Oh, maybe I can. But yeah, um, lots of you said do get the probes. Um, the, the annoying thing is though is that I've already got some of them. Obviously you've seen me pick up a few. So when I come to kind of do the, the, the end roundup, I'm going to have to remember which ones I've missed. Uh, it should be okay then. I think what we do is we go back to a certain area and and get them all in one go after we've done the missions there I think. So we may go back to Turnipseed Farm sometime soon and pick up all the probes there. I may do a fast forward sequence, although no I shouldn't because a lot of people didn't like the fast forwarding in Destroy Humans 2. I've, I've realised now. A few people. 
and Simpsons Hit and Run. People don't like fast forwarding. I liked the fast forwarding because I thought it was boring, but some people just want to see all of the game. And they would especially want to see the game if it's collectible, so I definitely shouldn't fast forward that. Um, but then again, I, I don't think I could ramble for 20 odd minutes picking up collectibles. I really don't. So we'll have to see how that goes. Um, should we do a side mission? Ow. Ugh. Ow. Um, yeah, let's. Let's do Santa Pre. Ha ha ha. Uh, time for a geography lesson. Travel to the landmarks. Blah blah blah. Three minutes. Let's go. Tin Pot Alley. There's a scientist there. Hmm. Yeah, this is where the story the story starts. I, I like to think in Santa Modesta. This is where we get some cool stuff because we we still don't know why there are cows being tested on, and why scientists aren't or are doing weird things to them. German scientists as well, which I do I like. Uh, I like the fact that they put German scientists just because it is actually quite close to the truth of what happened after the war. Um, here's a history lesson. Turn off if you don't like history. <laughs> you should do though. History's good. Um, after the war, if you didn't know, the Americans, once uh, Berlin and all that was captured and split up into East and West, the Americans, and the Russians I assume, not too sure about the Russians, but I definitely assume so, took a lot of the German um, scientists who worked on weapons during the Nazi regime. They took them and brought them back to America and made them work on their own things. So it makes sense that they're in this game. Um, probably on... well, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if anyone knows what they made them do, but I'd assume nuclear devices, probably. Um, because obviously Germany did the, the V2 rockets so they would have want, wanted something like that probably anyway enough with uh, lecturing I'm sure you don't really care um, <laughs> I do love to ramble on I I sound I remind myself of um, if any of you from Britain know about Only Fools and Horses I remind myself of uh, uh, Uncle Albert when he starts or you, hey, uh, or Grandpa Simpson, American equivalent, when they start moaning on about the war, during the war. <laughs> uh, there's another one. Go away. Finish line. That is easy peasy. I wasn't actually talking about where we went, but you saw it. There's like a TV station up there. That will be very important. Next mission. There's a bowling alley. That's cool. Can't actually play bowling, but oh well. There we go. 175 DNA. Cool. When you're ready, return. Yes, I know we can do that. We probably will. It's quite a long mission, though. Um, oh, give me that. It is quite a long mission. I don't know if we have time. But then there's not really much else we can do. Unless we do all the side missions here. And picking up loads of probes as well. This is good. Um, this is like a bomb. That is a bomb. That's a bit mean. Ow. But yeah, this this place looks a lot nicer, doesn't it? Look at this place. The beaches. There's one right over there. Oh. Yeah, I never actually saw what this charged one was. Let's try a charged one. Wait, what did it say to do? I can't remember what it said now. I'm sure it said do a charged... How can you do a charged burst with a disintegrator ray? I must have missed that. Let's just do some of the side missions. Just show them, get them out of the way, because uh, I rambled on too much to do the next mission. It is quite a long one. So we'll probably do that next time. Let's go have a look at some of these. Back to the TV station. What is their TV station called? There's probably a sign somewhere. There's lots of soldiers, I know that. Oh, there we are. Oh, yeah, okay. SMCBS. Uh. Yeah, let's just leave those actually. I don't want to mess with them. No. Oh, there's a little chapel over here. Oh my god, how far away is this damn side mission? It's all the way in the corner. Yeah, it's like something out of Las Vegas. <gasps> Donut shop? We are back in Simpsons Hit and Run. That's Lard Lad. Alright, probe. And it is Modesta Massacre 2. 
Uh, crush the spirit of the humans by destroying their precious females. Destroy 12 female humans. 1 minute 30. That's a bit tricky. Uh, ladies. Ladies, you must die now. I'm sorry. Soldiers, you're okay. But ladies. See, this, these, are, these ones are, can be quite tricky. Uh, you're right there. Because you don't know if they're going to spawn in or not. It's all kind of luck of, luck of the draw. Luck of the spawning. So let's see. Oh, there's one over there. Don't you run away from me. Even though I'm an ugly grey alien. Uh, oh, you, you. Uh, I got ya. I got ya. Actually, we're being, we're actually quite fortunate at the moment with all these. Lovely ladies. Suburban housewives. Oh, you're right there. Good sir. You're not. Right, we need two more in 30 seconds. Come on, there's one there, and there's one there. Excellent. Good work, Crypto. Thank you, that was actually quite good. 200 DNA for that. Nice. Very nice. So as you can see, they are just all the same. All the same. Such a shame. Because... With what the side missions did to destroy humans too, is it gave a nice little bit of side storylines to it. You know, the whole thing with Shamalama was wasn't really anything to do with the main storyline. I mean it was, but it had its own little tangent about the the cult of Arc Voodoo, which I I really liked. And you don't really get that with this game, which is a shame, because there's so many things you could like little side stories you could do with all these characters they introduce and all the places they introduce as well. But we're just stuck with kind of boring ones and I can't see any I think we've done that one I think that one's the oh man look, this this place is big I can't see where to go now oh look at that car oh baby Holy my mind says Huffman but my stomach says Eisenhower I don't know what that means really I bet Ike tastes like a cheeseburger yeah as you can as you can tell Quite random, a lot of the things they say. Quite random. That's where we spawned over there. I think that's that's where our yeah, that's where our thing is. Our saucer. So we've done that one way in the distance over there. Hmm. Hmm. Sometimes they don't have. Or they might have to be unlocked, you know. Maybe. Because obviously if you have the uh destroying mission, side mission, where you want to destroy certain amounts of buildings and you still need to use the area, you, you can't really do it yet. Oh dear, why is that on fire? I didn't do that. Yet. Huh. Well that seems that they're the only ones we can do. I'm not sure if that if that's always the case or it's just it hasn't been unlocked. I should probably have figured that out. But I think what we should do then a little bit of a boring episode there. I, did, I should, probably should have done the, the next mission, but I didn't have time. I thought I didn't have time. So what we'll do instead is let's go buy an upgrade quickly at the um, end of this episode. Seeing as we now have a nice little surplus of DNA. Uh, I can't stop going around wanting to pick up all this ammo. It's everywhere. Everywhere. Oh, and also, I should point out that if I ever do need to fast forward... And I think there may be a strong chance I do. Uh, I just love my fast forwarding. I love it. But um, if I do need to, I have found the perfect, perfect theme. Okay. So in the last in Destroy Humans 2 Let's Play, I used the same piece of music because it was a kind of fast forwardy tone. In this one, I'm going to use something a bit different. And I'm sure what it is. Um, to listen to it, you have to stay still for a very long time. So I'll cut forward in just a bit. Show yourself. 
Isn't that just the best elevator music you've ever heard? I mean, it's just brilliant. You can't help but just kind of jig along to it. Anyway, so you have to stay still for five minutes. Um, five minutes exactly, I think. I was timing that. And then this starts. But the music's great. I love the music. And there we are. Bam. Colour. Woo. So I'm going to head back to the mothership. And we'll go to Pox's lab and buy a nice upgrade. I'll see you there. Okay, I don't know why I kind of signed off like I was going to do a cut there. Almost like in a Minecraft video. I didn't need to cut that. So anyway, Pox's lab. Here we go. You gonna say something? No? Good. Did you want a saucer upgrade? Or something a little more? Now a saucer upgrade would be quite nice, but for the next mission in particular, Alien this upgrade, upgrade is quite useful. Step inside my shop. Yep, not that one. We want some psychokinesis. This one to pick up vehicles. Cost five hundred DNA, but it will be it will be very useful later on, so we're gonna All do right. that. You sold me. The upgrade is yours. Lovely. Okay then. Um, no more we can do at the moment. No. Well, apart from sources, but I've seen these before. So yeah, that was nice. Nice little upgrade there. Um, oh, and also, just to point out, uh, that is the next mission, Televisions of Doom, but Santa Modesta, nowhere near Rockwell, uh, or Turnip Seed Farm was. So what no last episode I said maybe Turnipseed Farm is next to Rockwell. It's not. There you go. Now you can tell. Anyway, next episode we're gonna go back to Santa Modesta and um see what this televisions of doom is all about. So until then, thank you for watching and goodbye.